Is 3JS worth learning? Yes. Absolutely, yes. 3JS is a JavaScript library that lets you put real-time 3D graphics, effects, and animation directly in your web browser. No plugins, no weird installs, just the web doing 3D. Under the hood, it uses WebGL and WebGPU to talk to your graphics card. Those are insanely powerful, low-level APIs, and also kind of a nightmare to write code for. With raw WebGL or WebGPU, you're wiring up buffers, shaders, pipelines, uniforms. And after writing like 200 lines of code, you finally end up with a triangle, a single triangle. Congratulations, you did it. Only 400,000 more lines to finish up. That's the gap 3JS fills. It takes all that low-level complexity and wraps it up in an API you can actually enjoy using. Instead of building a spaceship just to move a square 10 pixels, you could do something like create a scene, add a camera, drop in a mesh, and render. Done. You're playing with the 3D, not just fighting the setup. It makes building complex 3D scenes much, much, much easier. You get sensible defaults, helper classes, and a ton of utilities so you can focus on the creative part. It's also incredibly feature rich. You get lights and shadows so your scenes feel real. You get a whole range of materials, basic, standard, physical, tune, even the option to plug in your own shaders if you want. You get cameras, controls, loaders for 3D models, animation systems, and more. On top of that, there's post-processing, bloom, motion blur, depth of field, glitch effects, color grading, all the juicy stuff that makes your scenes go from, ah, oh, it's pretty cool, to like, holy smokes. And yes, it even has audio support. You can react to music or just make your spinning donut like dramatic orchestra hits every time it rotates. I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying you can. 3JS is also stable and actively maintained. It's been around for years. It powers tons of real projects in production and continues to evolve. New releases drop roughly every month, bringing bug fixes, improvements, and new features. So you're not betting on some abandoned side project from 2014 or whatever. What can you actually build with it? Interactive websites and landing pages where the hero section is a living 3D scene instead of a static image. Full web-based games, everything from simple arcade experiments to full 3D worlds. Creative coding pieces, particle systems, flow fields, abstract sculptures, glitchy experiments, generative art that reacts to time, sound, or other inputs, and never looks the same twice. If you're a web developer, it's a way to make your front-end work stand out. If you're a designer or artist, it's a playground for motion, interaction, and visual storytelling. If you're just curious about game dev, it's a way to bridge between regular web code and game engines. And you're not doing this alone. There's a large, active, helpful community around 3JS. Discord servers, the official 3JS forums, GitHub discussions, Twitter, Mastodon. Wherever you hang out, people are constantly sharing demos, answering questions, and helping each other. The documentation is actually good too. You've got the API docs, plus a really solid manual at 3JS.org slash manual. It walks you through core concepts, patterns, and common workflows in clear language with code samples you can copy, tweak, and break. On top of that, there are tons of learning resources, blog posts, code pens, GitHub repos, tutorials, and full courses covering everything from your first cube to advanced shaders and post-processing pipelines. You've also got YouTube channels focused on this stuff, like this one, Robot Bobby, where we build creative projects step-by-step step and talk through the why, not just the what. And if you want a structured path, courses like Learn 3JS Basics make it accessible and fun, even if you're not a math genius or a graphics engineer. So is 3JS worth learning for you? If you're already comfortable with JavaScript and you want to push beyond buttons and forms into interactive 3D experiences, yes, 3JS is for you. If you're a creative coder or artist who loves experimenting with visuals and motion, yes, yes. If you want to understand how 3D works in a way that transfers to other game engines and tools later on, also, yes. You're not just learning a random library, you're learning 
core 3D fundamentals, cameras, lights, materials, transformations, animations, rendering, those skills follow you into other environments like game engines, native apps, and even other graphics APIs. If you want to get started, here's a simple path. Open up the docs or run a basic example, get a cube on the screen, and then start poking at it. Change the colors, move the lights, make it spin too fast, break it on purpose, and learn by fixing it. And if you want a guided route with bite-sized lessons and source code you can steal, you're absolutely invited to check out my tutorials here on this channel and the Learn 3JS Basics course. Link in the description. We keep it practical, creative, and just nerdy enough to be fun. So, is 3JS worth learning? Yes, absolutely yes. As always, thanks for coming by. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to support my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.